little milkweed plants. We're gonna dig them up and put them into pots so that we have lots for butterflies to eat. Yeah. Perfect. Look at all that milkweed. Sheesh. So we got 30 pots filled with plants. A lot of them have multiples. Whew. Okay, I don't even know if you can even see me. My camera screen is covered in dirt. Um, <laughs> me and mom just dug up. Uh, I think it was a million. 30 something milkweed plants. 30 million. Um, because we have a zillion of them that grow on our property here, but my brother's been trying to, or plans to like plow this field, I think, this summer. We're not entirely sure. He might not plow it at all. We might have been able to leave those milkweed right where they were, but. We um, don't want to risk that getting butterflies. Yeah, so we've got our milkweed all set for our little butterflies to got come our to. Weed stash. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. Um, I guess I, th this is the intro of this video. Hello, we uh, we did that. So let's go, since we're out here and our hands are dirty, let's go check on our milkweed seeds that we planted. These are the hollyhocks. We planted some hollyhocks and then these are the milkweed seeds that we babies. planted. So they're coming up strong. We thought because my brother plowed where the milkweeds were last year that they weren't gonna come back up this year. Um, so that's why we planted some. But they very much did come back, so it's all good. The more the merrier. Okay, so the parsley's, you know, coming. We've got a little bit of broccoli action happening. Some kale. Oh, oh, we got double kale. Okay. Uh, the fennel, fennel doesn't seem to be coming yet. Uh, what do we got here? Parsley. Oh. Is this dill? Yeah. We got some dill going on. That's the, dill. the, the dill's coming in strong. Those are good for the swallowtails. These are our edible flowers. Those are gonna separate. Another day, another planting situation. We went to Chocolat yesterday. We found these adorable white strawberries. They're supposed to taste like pineapples. So we got the wheelbarrow full of duck. We're gonna go plant some. We're gonna add some store-bought stuff to our farm compost dirt. Make a real smorgasbord. We're rolling. Just give it a quick little stirry stir. Nothing crazy because I'm not trying to play in the dirt that much. Okay. And these are the strawberries. Very excited. They're supposed to taste like pineapple or something. I don't know. We got mom going to work. Here we go. <laughs> the edible flowers have gone absolutely crazy. <laughs> Everything else is just budding and these are nuts. So mom's trying to separate some of them. Whoop. So <laughs> mom just dug up what we thought was edible flowers and what is it mom? A radish. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. We got those it's from a flower like, shop too. Those were like flower shop. Yeah. So unfortunately our fennel does not seem to be coming up super strong here. Yeah. The fennel does not seem to be happening in either of our plantings. And that's one of the things we need to attract the swallowtails. But the dill and parsley is going strong, so we're gonna plant some more parsley. And we found this cute extra curly dwarf parsley. So hopefully um, they like that because it's cute. <laughs> now it's time to plant the strobs. Gonna so many plant the strobby bobs. Should I just dump it all up into one so we can see them? What is it? Okay. <laughs> it, so put some so it, so it comes out. What's that? Is that a root ball or something? What does it say it's supposed to be? Easy and satisfying and fun. Yeah, it must be. Is that what Dig it is? a hole. Plant strawberries and sun. I don't know. What else 
stuff is in the bag. A bunch of that. Not sure. It looks like it's just dirt. Right, here, let's just do two of them here. Let's plant one over there. Okay. If nothing comes up, I don't want to waste the pods, you know? Yeah. It just looks like dirt. Unless that clump was it. I think that clump was it. Yeah, this is just dirt. So this is it. Okay. Okay, do you want to okay. put this in it so we know this one's the strawberry? Okay. All right. So hopefully it works because it was just one big clump of we don't know what. We don't know. So now, now we, we do have the five parsley. pots left. So we want to do three more parsley, and then we'll put dill seeds inside. We can always do more dill too. This is the dwarf. Are you doing the same ones? You yeah. Do okay. yeah. And we cover it all up. Cover them holes. That should be good. Okay. Right, those will be our parsley. Okay, so butterfly garden update. Um, it's been a little bit. We moved a lot of the plants. By, by a lot of them, I mean all of them. What was that? That's Some, that. Something with wings. Oh, it's flying. <laughs> um, so here's, here's the update. We've got all of these guys that were lined up over there, right here now, and then we've got all the milkweed right Those here. Are the that started from seed. Right, these are the milkweed that we planted that are that are the little baby sprouts still, but they've come a long way. And these are the, a lot of edible flowers and parsley yeah. and dill and but <clears throat> lots of dill. Yep. And we don't know. If this is strawberries or not, we we're don't hoping. think we don't think it is, but we're hoping. I don't think it is. Yes. Then we've got all the milkweed that we put in pots over here. There's still so many on the property that we have to go check today for eggs before my brother trims stuff. But these are doing well. They're still big and green and growing. It's parsley. Is this the uh, the curly dwarf parsley that we put? I think planted? you're right. Yeah, that's why it looks so yeah. little because compared to this one. That's the dwarf parsley. It's got a lot of weeds. So we gotta, you know, give them some space. Sorry, roots. Get the grass out. <laughs> Tatum, this is supposed to be your job. Yeah, with your little fingers. And then mom moved some of the edible flowers and hollyhocks over here because oh and we got tatum in the shade because um we're gonna set something else up today some hummingbird feeders <laughs> so we got these hooks to hang the feeders we got we have three three feeders three hummingbird feeders and one that goes in the window so we're gonna try and uh see if we can set those up really quick a butterfly of some sort. What are you? 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 Wait, where'd you go? There you go. Where are you? What are you? That guy was fast. Tatum, you didn't even run after me. We'll start with the... Uh, we should probably assemble the assemble hooks them. first. Yeah. So maybe we should do two first, the two we're going to do here. lot of parts. I don't know, you might have to. Okay, I think we got it. I'm not sure that there's any directions. I think it's pretty, pretty straightforward. So, so this tightens up. Do you think you could, you could take care of this for me? No? You got it? You got it? Oh, you can do it. You're just, uh, you're just being lazy. All right, I'll do it. Okay. So you wanna, yeah, bring it all the way down and then make it cross like this. And then tighten it. See, you could have done this, Tatum. I know. You got four paws. And then next, I think we screw on these poles. the hook onto the top. We're going a bit fast here, oh, Ma. Sorry. Perfect. 
I think these are going to be perfect height for under that tree. Yeah. And then you're going to need um, one hook to go on the top when you're done. And then I think the tough decision is going to be which two we're going to put here and which one we're going to put over in the field. I mean over... I think we should put the two single ones here and put the double one over there. Okay. So this one will go. Yeah, because one of them's kind of like a double feeder. You're enjoying yourself, darling? Sticking them in the ground like this? So, yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah. And I think make sure that it like really gets in there because there's a lot of um, mulch. So I want to make sure that, you know, it's stable in there. What do you think? You think it's grabbing good? Yeah. I mean, we could probably like put rocks over it. Like that. Beautiful. All right, so so we got one two dollar feeder, and then this is like a fancy. I think this one's glass. Oh. Did that come out of my pocket? No. It's okay, Tater. Okay. I think this is going to be nice. Tater thinks so too. Yeah. Oh, how cute! That's gorgeous. It's so cute. I think we got this last year. We did. Like in September or something on sale from like 4th of July. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, those are going to hang. I think that's a nice height. Yeah. There's yep. already a little bug on it, so oh, perfect. I think that's a good sign. All right, so um, now we're we gonna just, fill them. Yeah, just a little bit though. Yeah, just to entice them in. Yeah. Normally, like we would make the nectar and everything, but we've never done this before. So, and I've heard like horror stories of people not putting the right ratio and doing it too sugary. So for our first time, we got some nectar because it was like also on sale. But from now on, we're gonna probably just make the sugar water because <laughs> that's really all it is okay so this one just the bottom screws off oh nice yeah and we're just gonna put a little bit in for now just enough to attract them i want to make sure that it'll fill to the flowers though so maybe just a little more okay. you think Thought just because this is a wide base i just didn't want to go too crazy too quick because you have to change this like every, every week. week yeah and so we didn't want to waste it if we don't get any visitors or many visitors this week. Um, and scientifically, they say that red does attract them. Yeah, so I guess why. that's that's got you know that's why yeah. it's this color. It's and they said when you make it at home, it's Kool Aid. Only only add red if you know it's really safe because a lot of the red dyes are poisonous and toxic to oh, the wow. hummingbirds. So See, that's another reason that we said nope, we're not making it. So the I'm first gonna round. turn it upside down. So oh, you think this is the same? Bubbling. It must be filling. And this is the same deal. Oh, beautiful. It's still bubbling, so yeah, that's perfect. That's not gonna be too much. So fill it like a third of the way? Yeah, or yeah, because it's gotta you know, fill that reservoir so that they can get to those little holes, I think. So yeah. Good. Because we don't want to waste it if it just has to be changed. Oh, look at how beautiful this looks. Oh, it's so cute. I'm excited. Okay, so now I gotta flip it over. Okay. If we have good luck, we have but one it's extra It's not too hang. heavy. Nice. So cute. Yay. Ring on the little birdies. We have this one other like double decker feeder that we we're gonna put over in the forest over here. But I went to go fill it up and we realized you can separate them and make them just two feeders. So we're gonna do that. Look at how cute these are. They have little perches for the birds to stand on while they get a drink. That's right, this one was more expensive, but it's okay. It's literally like buying two. It's worth it because yeah, now we get two and they got the little perches, oh my God, okay. Tatum, I can tell you're really excited about all of this. She said she wanted to come. I thought she was going to be a big helper. <laughs> Alright. Here's how. Mm. I think I'm out of... I think I'm out of this. I'll try that again. Ugh. there. 
Tell them you help her. Ta-da! Tatum, guardian of the hummingbirds. At her post. She does her job well. Ta-da! Got one. Ooh. Beautiful. Ah! Okay, so we also got this one that sticks to the window. Um, so we're gonna try and see if we can stick it to the window. <laughs> What'd you say? We put one on the window. So Meg's cleaning up that window so we can hopefully get it to stick. So I think we're probably gonna have to fill this one a little more significantly and... because the way it's like a flat, like. Yeah, that's a big dish, too. Yeah. Looks like it's got, like, three stations on it. Bring your friends. <laughs> and bring them quick. Get the suckers wet. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll stick. What did the package say? They're super suckers? I just hope it's not too heavy. Does it feel like it's on there? So. Well, it's just plastic at least. It's not glass. So if something happens and it falls. It looks like you got a good. There you go. There you go. Where'd the dog go? Okay. Oh, the supervisor's leaving. Goodbye. Cute. So whenever they decide to come visit us. I've got a nice little backdrop too. Look at that. This is nice. That'll be a nice little postcard. Oh yeah. You know, the tree. So. Oh right. Hopefully, very soon, there will be a video with hummingbirds in it. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching.